Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart here. I'm going to be going over the, of course, really important levels that you need to be aware of over the next few days to be trading Bitcoin well. I'll be covering the trades that I'm in right now and what I'm looking for next over the next few days. Of course, I'll be going to be throwing in some really nice education for you at the same time. As right now in the background, I actually have the sun coming up over the mountain. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I've got a nice, beautiful view here. That gives me a big positive energy. And I hope I can transfer that energy to you in this video as we get into what we love. And of course, that is trading Bitcoin. I'm also going to talk a little bit about altcoins because, yes, I haven't traded altcoins for a good few months, but I really, truly see the opportunities are with the altcoins right now. So I'm going to be giving a brief talk through the altcoins as well. So I mean, yeah, we're going to go through some altcoins. We can go touch on the stock market. Let's start off here with Bitcoin. Wow, madre mia, you're going to have an absolutely wonderful video here. So let's just get into it. And uh, yeah, I want to keep this one real concise and professional for you at the end of the day. So yeah, let's just get into the analysis. So we obviously were looking at this mini range in the last video and talking about the breakout of this. And we actually have this, we actually have this uh, like range section. We have this mini range going on, obviously within the larger range that we're trading. So we've got a small range within a larger potential range here. And within the smaller range, which was contained within the value areas, I really simply gave to my team, and that was given freely on Twitter, uh, of the next level to the upside, okay? And I'm a level-to-level -level trader. I knew this is the range to trade. If we break out, I knew one level, one sole level that I gave to my team at 9 a.m. that I'm going to be aware of to the upside. And it was actually this Igor session, NPOC. So this is the one that I gave at 9 a.m. to everybody, okay? Looking there at around 21,900. That's our key resistance, Okay, we're talking about six hours later, we're still range bound within here. But the one level that we're looking at is this above us. Should we break up to the top of this range? Okay, well, you can actually see as the day progressed around 5 p.m., we ended up hitting that level. Okay, this is what I mean, by the way, if you're following the Chart Champions account over on Twitter, this is not run by me, by the way, this is run by a social media guy that we employ. But nevertheless, at 1 p.m., I felt it was very, very, very generous because he actually gave it out for free. Uh, we don't let the market get out of our sights, obviously, ready for the pump to the next level of resistance. And yeah, if you were paying attention like this guy was, 21,900, you could have been ready and aware of that for free by following the Chart Champions account over on Twitter there. Okay, very kind indeed. I'm not going to lie, that one was. Um, but obviously, we came up and we hit it. Okay, and this is what we were looking at in the time. Okay, so obviously, you can see people getting into their shorts. By the way, it was front run by about $10. You can see here, we front run it by about $10. But I want to show you some of the thought processes that we were looking at in the time. Because yes, I did also confirm that I had entered into the short position inside of my group. You can see here other people taking shorts. Why was there a short entry then? Well, this initially was not a short entry for me. Why? Because we front run the level that I wanted a short by about $10. So what happened then? Why did I take the short? Why did I confirm this? We had this retest. Okay, this was our retest into the CC from high to low. I will just show you this, I might as well. From the high to low, okay, we got a retest into the CC. As you can see, you know, uh, George was actually in a live stream at the time. George was monitoring this and uh, also recognized the short opportunity. You had Tiago also coming in here saying, you know, you got the low low volume retest as George is mentioning on stream. Uh, <laughs> I love this guy, he's an absolute legend. George is smiling as we were having a live exact example of what he is explaining, such perfect timing our oh, Jason Statham right here, uh, top G. But as we all know, this is why the eagle colors its IS4 is red, okay? And then this is what we mean by looking at the stock market simultaneously. You've got another, you have a great trader in here, Scott, very active in the group, also seeing, you know, the stock market's also coming into the CC here. We're pulling back on the stock market. We've just hit our level very slightly front run, but we're getting the retest. And for me, the retest was the level to short, stop loss above the high, okay? So, you have to recognize what we're looking at. Why, is it, why are the shorts being taken? It's because you've got a retest with confluence on the stock market. Okay, that was the that was the high probability short trade here in terms of the technical analysis. Well, we can see how that really progressed throughout the day as we come up to that Eagle Session NPOC, and it actually bottomed out at the lower Eagle Session NPOC. So a really great example of the Eagle Sessions coming into play there. Really, really great indeed. But also visually from trading view, you can see this, how we then went from high to low. Okay, let me just show you this really simply. We went from high to low, 
and we obviously rejected into the CC. This is where myself and other people in the group were taking short positions. Well, over the course of the night, we work, work our way down, we work our way down, we work our way down. Obviously hitting that lower Eagle Session NPOC. That's all of them now taken out apart from this higher one still, of course, because that was front run by about $10. Well, we come into the point of control, which was also around this then CC support. So you can see the levels of confluence that we have coming in here of support. Well, the lower Eagle Session, we're on the point of control of the range, on the CC from the last low to the high of that impulse, on the middle of our channel. Okay, we obviously got a clear reaction from that, and then we formed another retest here, where this is your higher probability long trade. From the low to the high, you've then seen the clear support coming in, retest of the CC, continuation of the trend. Okay, so in my opinion, if you have been monitoring this closely and you are awake for this one, okay, this is obviously coming in at daily close. And this is why I say I love the Europe time, for, time zone, but because, you know, you can get into these trades on, on daily close. But really, essentially, you can be in this short position, obviously stop loss above the high. And now you can be in this long position, stop loss below the low. And you can simultaneously have this short running, which has hit take profit one for sure. And this long running, which could have hit take profit one for sure above this high here. Okay, simple swing failure pattern. And now you are in a position where you can have a short and a long running simultaneously. A short from the high on that retest, okay? And a long from the low on the retest. And now you can let the market show its hand, okay? The market is gonna do one of two things. Push up higher and stop you out of the short, and then you can let the long run, or drop, stop you out of the long, and let the short run. Okay, this is a very common practice that we teach at Chart Champions, getting into your shorts up at the highs, getting into a long down at the lows, and then letting the market show its hand and stop you out of one of those positions. Okay. I personally would like to see higher here. I personally would like to see higher. But again, it doesn't really matter what I personally would like to see. At the end of the day, I'm in my trades. I'll let the, I'll let the market show it to me. I'll let the market show its hand. Why would I like higher? Well, I'd still like to clean up this NPOC, okay? I do think the stock market right now is looking nice with its, uh, you know, current move to the upside. We obviously had this key level of resistance, which was flipped yesterday or early morning into support for another move to the upside. So I'm, I'm liking the ES right now. Of course, if the ES starts to drop on the open, don't get me wrong, I'm aware of the New York Open today. I will be aware of, of New York Open with a potential red opening. If that is the case, then I can expect the Bitcoin pullback. But while the ES is holding strong here, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for further upside here on Bitcoin. Invalidation, of course, coming back into the range. I always know where the invalidation is. I'm more than happy to close that long and keep the short running. But for me, that's the positions I'm in right now. And this is how I'm looking for it to progress throughout the day. Okay, I know my key level of resistance is there around 21,920. Okay, so I know my key resistance here coming in just above this high. If we clear that high, by the way, I think I can look back up to the overall high of my channel, which I've been giving you quite a few times, around 22,150, 22,160 up here, the key, uh, key resistance if we break this high. That's what I'd be looking for next. And my key level of support on the intraday still sits at the point of control, to be honest with you. This is still my intraday level of support. Okay, so really... This is, you know, again, this is not hindsight. This is stuff that I was recognizing live in the time yesterday as it was happening. You know, these were things that we were ready and waiting for. So there's no hindsight here. It's, you know, all the levels were given in advance. We rejected the high, got the retest, confirmed in my group. Yes, I'm in a short position. We got the drop. Where did we drop down to? The CC, point of control, reaction, retest, rise. Okay, so we know why the high was put in. We know why the low is put in, and now we need to be patient waiting for an outcome of this. My personal bias would be another push higher here, but I do know the invalidation of that. I know where I'm wrong on that. Also, I'm not trading this section. For me, this is not a trade that I would take. There was one level of confluence of the swing value pattern. For me, this is not enough with my bias would like in higher, especially with how the ES is looking right now. Okay, so, you know, quick overview, and then I'm going to talk about alts briefly, and then I actually have a special surprise as well. Um, so... Bitcoin, you have to have your plan, which for me was this one and only level. It's then seeing the reaction off of that, the retest offering the low, uh, you know, the low risk short, knowing where a good opportunity for the, you know, the take profit is. And this was the eagle session that we bounced off of. As you can see here, we come down to that eagle session for the absolute low. Okay, on the point of control. I actually took my first take profit sooner than that, by the way. But nevertheless, this was where we bottomed out. 
okay and you know then we've obviously got to move up to take out this high and we're getting a pullback after taking that high so really simply all those pivots very technical very technical indeed so why have i talked about altcoins well it's like i was telling my team yesterday at the moment i truly believe that altcoins are having a lot of opportunities almost more than bitcoin okay so i am actually going to start trading altcoins once again after a long break from them as I, and, I, and just uh, for your information if you're interested today i will be doing a members only live stream to cover the altcoins obviously tomorrow but now today so if you're interested in the altcoin live stream that i'm going to do of course you can catch that over on the website this is going to be for all of the uh, champion members okay i'm going to be going in and anybody's welcome to come and join that you just need to come over to chartchampions.com if that's of interest to you but yeah i truly believe right now that the altcoins are getting a lot of volatility of course ethereum is helping a lot i can do a dedicated public video on for free on ethereum if that's of interest to you if it is hit that like button 3000 likes i'll bring you a very 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 in-depth ethereum usd and ethereum btc analysis for you for free all you need to do is hit that like button if that's of interest to you if you want to see me cover all of the altcoins of course that's what i'll do today for the champions in a live stream but I truly believe this is where the opportunity sits right now. So for me, I'm getting interested in the altcoins. I'm going to be monitoring today ETH in particular because of the correlation with Bitcoin. Of course, the stock market on the US Open, which is 2.30 UK time. And I will have, oh, you know, Bitcoin with, you know, clearly I know the next levels that I'm ready and waiting for to trade. This for me is not a trade. I'm going to really be remation, remaining patient for the drop to the BOC or a take above the highs. Again, if we take the high with no reaction, I'll really simply look to the overall high of the range. For me that's very simple if we lose the point of control i'm going to be looking back down to the value area low okay so for me i, I know the levels i'm planned now it's a, a case of being patient waiting for the level to be hit checking the reaction which what i mean by checking the reaction is coming over here and looking at the order flow and then judge that order flow take the trade execute i'm either then going to win the trade or lose the trade simple as that you can see the bear cvd forming here locally um so for me it's as simple as that and i wanted to end as i said with one special announcement and that is actually that I've managed to secure all of you watching this video. This is for every single person here watching this video. Everybody, I managed to secure you a $1,000 free ETH Ethereum airdrop position. Okay. And this was very kindly offered to us from Bybit. And, you know, I think this is a great one. Uh, people love airdrops. Why? Because it's free. <laughs> so basically, there's a now the opportunity for you to have a $1,000 free ETH Ethereum airdrop position. Um, really simply, there are two requirements because obviously we posted this a few days ago. There are two key requirements that you need to follow if you want to claim this free 1000 Ethereum airdrop position. Okay. First requirement is that you need to be signed up under the Chart Champions affiliate link, which is going to be left here, also left over on Twitter. That is a requirement because this is an exclusive deal only for Chart Champions. So number one, you do have to be signed up under our Chart Champions team affiliate link. Number two is, yes, it does require 1,000 USD deposit. So you are going to be given the 1,000 ETH airdrop position once you've deposited 1,000 USD. So if you only deposit 800, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to be eligible for this reward. And the third one that, you know, a lot of people have asked is, is this legible or is this, you know, available for... Um, existing chart champions team affiliate link members and the, unfortunately this time no you do have to create another new account so be this your you know your 10th or 20th bybit account you do have to create an, another account to claim this i have said to bybit please next time can we just do this for all of my existing team members as well and they have said that yes but this time you do have to create a new account deposit 1000 usd don't take a trade claim the rewards and then you will get that okay there's that's that's I've had that confirmed by Bybit. There will be no problems. Uh, KYC is not required. It's available for everybody uh, as long as you're basically under the Chart Champions team affiliate link there. So yeah, that's a little bit of a bonus that we've been working hard to secure and we have now secured that for you. So that's a 1000 Ethereum ETH airdrop position for you. And of course, you can use that in confluence <laughs> with the 4000 deposit bonus that's also being run right now. Okay, any questions that you have about that, you can obviously come over to the Discord and ask, drop a comment over on Twitter. But, you know, probably best over on, on, on uh, Discord, you're more likely to get a response. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to end with announcing that. 
If you want to see more from me, of course, I'm going to be doing an altcoin li uh, altcoin live analysis today uh, where I'll be going in depth on that. If you want to see that, that's obviously over at Chart Champions. Oh, look at that. Where right now you're just about to have another live stream. You're going to be having a lot of live streams. Another live stream right now from George. The legend George is going live in 40 seconds um, where he's going to be doing an in-depth one hour plus long live stream on Bitcoin. We've already had the short version out today. That is the quick five, 10 minute version. And now he's going in for the hour long version of the analysis. So yeah, we've got live streams galore. You're going to have another one later from me today. <laughs> You've got one line right now from the legend himself, George. Uh, and yeah, shout out to Tiago, by the way. This guy's doing amazing trades right now. Like, do not sleep on Tiago. This guy's trading well. And uh, yeah, make use of that 1,000 ETH airdrop position if that's of interest to you. The, the, um, I'll leave the um, information over in the Discord in the socials tab. And of course, it's over on Twitter. That's all I'll, I'll say for now. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button and I will catch you in the next one that we make. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've learned something. And if you want to learn even more, get, catch us over on the website or inside the Discord. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And... Of course, I'm ending with the disclaimer, no financial advice. This is an entertainment educational video only. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Cheers.